Hey guys, um, this video is going to be a review of The Royal Mess by Mary Janice Davidson. I haven't read the first two books in the series. Luckily it's not really something that you have to have read the other books. Um, th this series is based around a kind of alternate history where um, Russia didn't sell Alaska to America and Alaska ended up gaining its independence and becoming its own country and as a royal family. And this series focuses around the royal family. I'm not entirely sure which two members the first two books are on. I'm pretty sure that it is um, the oldest son and then one of the daughters in the royal family because you kind of get like hints that there were earlier stories about them. But this one is about the illegitimate daughter of the king who um, her mom has just died and after she died left like a letter for her I think or somewhere in her will or something like that told her that she was the king's illegitimate daughter and part of her mom's dying wish was that she would write to the king and tell her about her existence. So she gets pulled into the family. They do a DNA test to make sure she's the king's daughter obviously. but. Aside from just being the king's illegitimate daughter, um, she came from her parents were like together or whatnot before the king married the queen. So she's the oldest of the king's kids and it is supposed to become queen, which is obviously a very shocking discovery. And um, this book is a romance book that kind of is about her and her bodyguard who he's the king's bodyguard but then he ends up becoming her bodyguard and there's they fall in love with each other and all of that and that's basically the book. I just kind of thought this was okay for the most part. I don't read much adult let alone adult romance. I won this book in a giveaway. That's how I got it like a really long time ago. I knew nothing about it before starting it. Um, I, I did think it was like cute at parts. By the end of it I thought I had gotten into it enough that I thought it was like pretty adorable but a lot of it seemed odd. Obviously finding out that Eric King's illegitimate daughter isn't very realistic. He also, the king from like the very beginning, is convinced that he, she's his daughter because she acts like him I guess or something like that. I can't even really remember. But um that didn't really seem realistic. You, you feel like if you were king you'd be a bit more cautious about believing it. But I just, there wasn't anything necessarily wrong with the book. I just wasn't a huge fan. But like I said, I, I haven't read a lot of adult romance books so I don't really have much to compare it to overall. Um, I, I did think it was cute. If you like romance books you'd probably like it. I, I don't, I don't really know. I was just kind of, I liked it but not a whole lot. And I probably won't go back to read the first two books. I, I don't think I cared enough to. Um, although if I like ever got them in my possession somehow like just randomly I'd probably read them but I don't think I'm going to seek them out. But I think that is all that I have to say. I, I do want to comment that if I don't know if you can hear it but the fan is in fact on in my room because we're in a polar vortex right now and it is freezing outside and our entire house is cold for some reason except my room. I woke up sweating last night. My room is like burning up and it's really weird and I don't know why that is happening. But yeah, anyway, that is all and I will see you guys later. Bye.